This is the inside story of the rebirth of an icon, the Ford Focus RS. From the design studio to the test track and from Arizona to the Arctic, we follow the team as they strive to revive a famous name. We are not going to put out a vehicle that doesn't deserve that RS badge. And we'll follow Ford Rally and Jim Carner superstar Ken Block as he joins the RS team. We're at Ford's European headquarters in Cologne, Germany, to meet the teams who must design the new RS and crash it. For the past 18 months, the design team have been working on a clay model of the new RS, led by Joel Paskowski, head of design, Ford of Europe. The RS is really at the top of the mountain, so to speak. It's the most aggressive looking, but it has the most performance story to tell at the same time. So it's, it's form following function. The front end really speaks, this is a performance vehicle. Looking at the front openings, they really tell you, I need air to breathe. We have the upper two slots for cooling down the radiator and the lower slot for the intercooler. On top of that, we have some additional slots around the fog lamp and they basically give us some airflow to the brakes. The uh, splitter here, it's very large, very prominent. It was necessary to push down the car. When we did that, we realized in the aerodynamic tunnel, we also need a big spoiler in the rear because to have a counterbalance, to have a good balance on the road. What's unique on this car are definitely the 19 inch wheels. The huge diffuser, which is also functional. Double exhaust on each side one, and it holds also a new LED fog lamp. Early in the design process, the model was shown to RS consultant Ken Block. The cool thing for me is like, I enjoy watching and learning and helping be a part of the process. The consumer that's looking to buy this car is definitely looking for something more aggressive. And we want aerodynamics that actually work. We want to see this car perform. You want something that is hitting the current trends and the current tastes. You don't want to go too mellow and not have it appeal to them or go too extreme and have it not appeal to them also. Well, he's a designer himself. He liked the look of it. He said there's nothing really he would change. While Ernesto worked on the exterior design, Sharifa Chelabi tuned the interior. One of our main goals was to have this mean, aggressive and a positive way character. And that's the reason we kept it quite dark and we have only put little details as accent colors in the performance blue color as you see. For example, on the steering wheel you see this detailing and also the logo has this performance blue color and the gator bag and also the gear knob. We are all very excited if we have a nest here on RS. You have a little bit more possibility to try new things and put interesting, nice uh, materials into that kind of character of a car. Just a short walk from the design studio is Ford's crash test center, where Christian Marschner is preparing for today's sacrifice. We are doing round about one test per day. That means around about 250 crash tests per year. And today we will do a Ford Focus RS M1 oblique side pole impact. It simulates a side impact onto a tree, for example, which means a pole made of steel. It has a two inch diameter and yeah, the car hits it with 15 degrees angle and 32 kph. To meet all the global safety standards, Ford will crash 28 RS prototypes before the car is launched. We have um, on about 75 meters of track to accelerate, then bang and then the car is crashed. Test läuft! usual crash test. Yeah. Another car broken. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. It's a pity, but someone has to do it, yeah. <laughs> the car and crash test data will now be analyzed by a team of experts here in Cologne as the development continues. 
Next time, we head to the US for a crucial development drive. If we can't fix it, usually it's, you know, park it, cover it, someone stays with it, we call a wrecker in. From the top of the Rockies to the desert plains of Arizona. Waiting for the day that we can floor it. <laughs>